Sports' Jonathan Gregg is live at 10 with more. The new law does not create a hunting and trapping free-for-all, but it is certainly not sitting well with people across the state. It's the DNR's job to define areas in each park where hunting can happen. These listening sessions are how they are showing the public what they're coming up with. Like most parks across Wisconsin, High Cliff on Lake Winnebago might have to make room for hunting next fall. Corey Nichols. Hunting, all my friends like to hunt. Walking the dog with Heather Rager. I don't think families really want to hear gunshots ringing out and stuff like that if there's hunting and stuff going on. As long as it's safe and they figure out how to do it and it benefits everybody. The DNR is proposing opening up an area on its south side. Amy Garenthofner. And then really relax here. Taking her own shots on high cliff. I think it's good for people to have hunting grounds and for people to all have that opportunity. But she adds. It would have to be a very safe feeling for families to want to still come here if they were allowing hunting here at the park. High cliff sits on about 1,200 acres. Basically, it's going to become a, uh, a safety issue. Jeff Samida of the group Friends of High Cliff says as the park expands. We set aside some land for a uh, uh, an area for hunting around the park, and that would be a mentoring area. Until then, he's petitioning to have High Cliff exempt from the law, which is up to the DNR. The Natural Resources Board has a broader authority to close all or a portion of a park for public safety reasons or to protect a unique plant or animal community. Tonight's listening session brought in 150 people. The DNR is taking the feedback from these meetings and may change their recommendations for each park. By the way, the DNR made a point of reminding the crowd this law was not their idea. And if they are truly unhappy with it, to contact their local representative. Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.